Yo, what's up, y'all, and welcome back to Keep It Techie, where we break down tech, Linux, and everything in between to help you level up in your career. Now, today, well, we got to talk about something a little serious. I'm sure y'all see these job cuts in government tech. It's looking real wild out here. And I know a lot of people are wondering, yo, is the dream over? Is the bag in government tech done for? So today we're going to break it all down. What's really happening? Why these cuts are going down? And most importantly, what you need to be doing right now if you're trying to stay ahead in the tech game. Let's get to it. President Trump signed an executive order calling for another seven government entities to reduce staffing. All right, so let's start with the facts. Governments, local, state, and even federal have been making some heavy cuts to their IT departments. We're talking layoffs, budget reductions, contract freezes, the whole nine. Now, some of y'all might be wondering, but why though? Tech is still important, right? Absolutely. But here's the thing, budget constraints, political shifts, and AI automation have been a big target on government tech jobs. With new leadership trying to cut spending, IT departments are some of the first to get hit. And that usually means budget cuts. But this time, it's looking worse than usual. And let's be real, big tech layoffs have been making headlines for months now. From Google, Amazon, Microsoft, everybody has been downsizing. But when a government store is making cuts, that's when it really gets scary. Because a lot of people see government tech jobs as stable or as a safe haven in tech. And now that safety net is looking kind of weak. Now let's talk about why. The main reasons behind these cuts boil down to three things, money, automation, and priorities. First off, government spending is under pressure. They're trying to reduce deficits and IT projects can be very expensive. So instead of hiring more IT staff, they're outsourcing, delaying projects, and just straight up canceling them. Then we got AI. Y'all all knew this was coming because I've been speaking on it for a couple of years now. With tools like ChatGPT, AI-driven security solutions, and cloud automation, a lot of the work that used to require whole teams can now be done with a couple of people and some well-written scripts. Even software development in government is shifting towards low-code and no-code solutions, meaning fewer traditional devs are needed. Lastly, let's talk about who's in charge. Every time a new government steps in, priorities change. Sometimes they want to invest in tech, other times they want to cut back. Right now, the trend is towards tightening the belt, and unfortunately, IT is on the chopping block. This is the chainsaw for bureaucracy. Chainsaw! <laughs> All right, so now here's the real question. What can you do to stay ahead? Because let's be real, tech ain't going nowhere, but the way we work in tech is changing. So here's what you need to focus on. Even though some IT jobs are being cut, security and cloud infrastructure are still in high demand. Governments still need to protect their systems from cyber threats and cloud services like AWS and Azure are more important than ever. And if you've been sleeping on those cloud certs that I've been talking about for years, like the AWS Solutions Architect or the CompTIA Security Plus, now's the time to wake up. Companies and governments are moving towards automation. If you know Ansible, Terraform, Python scripting, or even AI driven tools, you're way ahead of the game. The more you can automate, the more valuable you become. Listen, if full-time government jobs are drying up, there's still money in contracts. A lot of government or outsourcing IT work to private contractors. So if you got the skills, you could be making just as much, if not more, by working with government contracts instead of as a direct employee. Now y'all know I gotta say this, don't rely on one income source. Try to start a blog or build a YouTube channel. Also, you can learn how to freelance. Having a secondary skill, whether it's web development, cybersecurity consulting, even Linux training can be a game changer. So man, honestly, this whole situation is wild. Government IT was always seen as one of the safe bets, but this just proves that no job is ever really safe. The industry is changing fast and the people who adapt are the ones who thrive. I think a lot of this comes down to shifting priorities. Governments want to cut costs and tech is moving towards automation, AI, and cloud-based solutions. That doesn't mean tech jobs are going away fully, 
It just means the type of jobs are changing. If you're still in the game, you got to start thinking ahead. Stay learning, stay grinding, and most importantly, stay valuable. I mean, I've been saying this for a while now. Tech skills are power. So whether you're working for the government, private sector, or for yourself, the key is to making sure your skills are always in demand. And if you keep up with Linux, cloud, security, and automation, you'll be good no matter what. All right, so that's all I got for you guys today, but now I wanna hear from you. Do you think government IT jobs are dying off? Have you seen someone you know been affected by these cuts? Drop a comment down below, let's chop it up. And as always, if you found this video helpful, Go down and make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. I got plenty more tech content coming your way, so stay locked in. Also, check out my free Linux course on Free Code Camp. I'm actually redoing this course, and it should be released on my channel pretty soon. And if you want to support the channel, go down and hit up the Keep It Techie membership or grab yourself some merch. Links are down in the description. Now, make sure you stay learning, stay grinding, and most importantly, stay techie. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Yo, what's up, y'all? Listen, if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move, let me tell you, tech is where it's at. I don't care where you're coming from, whether you've got a degree, a GED, or just pure hustle. There's room for you in this game. You see, tech is more than just keyboards and code. It's solving problems, creating opportunities, and building the future. You already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start. It cares where you're willing to go. You can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. And the resources are out here for free. And yes, you heard me, free. Now, yeah, it's gonna take effort. You'll have to grind, but think about this. The time is gonna pass anyway. So why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life? I mean, tech doesn't just pay the bills. It opens doors to freedom, stability, and generational wealth. So stop doubting yourself, store small, stay consistent, and keep building. Because this isn't just a career, it's a movement. And guess what? You belong here. So let's get it, because the future is yours to build. Keep it tech.